And he said to him, when you wake up, you're not going to know how to drive a car. Gets in the car, doesn't know where, he doesn't know where to put this key to start the bloody thing. Um, because his mind's decoding system has been intervened in to program that state of being. They then come back in the studio and, and Hammond's having a laugh and he thinks it's all very funny and he thinks it's over, except that the programming's still in there. So they're sitting there live in the studio and uh, chatting away and McKenna does his thing again and Hammond goes, mm. and he tells Hammond that this car, this toy car, is his real uh, 911 Turbo or something. And he goes across and he gets in the car, acting as if it's his car, and then this, uh, this, this other guy um, comes in um, in another toy car and smacks him in the side. And Hammond reacts as if his real car's just been smacked. That's the power that you can um, program the body computer with, and that's what's happening to the human race all the time. We are... <coughs> those that are not waking up, we are in a hypnotic trance. And that's why people can't see the bloody obvious. Try telling Richard Hammond that wasn't his real car. When you're in a hypnotic stage show, and I've been to many researching this, try telling the guy that he's not seeing an elephant in the audience. As Voltaire said, so long as the people do not care to exercise their freedom, those who wish to tyrannize will do so, for tyrants are active and ardent, and will devote themselves in the name of any number of gods, religious or otherwise, to put shackles upon sleeping men. So putting us to sleep, hypnotically, is fundamental to it. And that's why this, this phrase, people are waking up, is so absolutely accurate. That's what we're doing. We're waking up from the trance. And when the guy who thinks there's an elephant in the audience wakes up from the trance, there's no elephant anymore. He can see reality in a different way. It's about keeping us in a hypnotic state. And here's a hypnotist. Television, the people don't know it. 99.9% .9 of them don't know it anyway. They are hypnotists. They are implanting into the mind through a real powerful form of mind control called repetition a version of the world and reality that, um, if we take it on, puts us all in the same uh, norm of perception. All the time, 24-7, wherever you go, me, 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 me. Same repeating things. 19 hijackers who couldn't fly Cessnas suddenly manifested the ability to fly wide-bodied jets. Over and oh yeah, see, yeah, the, the, don't know where it came from, honey, but they, they just managed to, they must have read a book. <laughs> and then you have, uh, in, in America, on the left, they, they are uh, democratic uh, uh, supporting uh, news presenters, and these in Fox, of course, are far, far right-wing supporting um, presenters, and they are apparently putting different points of view, but together... They see the system in the same way. They just want to come from it from a slightly different angle. And that is constantly uh, mind-controlling the body computer to believe that there are sides in the world and there are differences and stuff and, and take us away from the understanding that behind it all, there's one force manipulating through all sides. Then you've got people like Jon Stewart. Some of his shows are very funny. And, 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 and this guy, Bill Meyer, these are perceived to be, uh, I call them... Um, uh, steam whistles, you let off a bit of steam and frustration because they, they have fun and, and satirize the political system, but only to a point. So he'll satirize, but as soon as he gets someone in the studio, like Tony Blair a few months ago, he basically licks his backside instead of asking serious questions, which he's asking when the guy isn't there. Come on. And Bill Meyer, why he's against the, you know, ridicule in the system and all that, and politicians, he vehemently attacks anyone who says that 9-11 uh, was not, um, the official story was not true. Uh, and so all these different f forms and media of all different kinds, and sometimes they seem to be different, are all selling you basically the same belief system on the way um, the system works. And as a result of this mind control technique called repeating, 
So many people believe things they've never checked, never asked about, never questioned in any way, but because it's the norm, because everyone believes it, it becomes their truth. Oscar Wilde, great English writer, said, most people are other people. Their thoughts are someone else's opinions, their lives are mimicry, their passions are quotation. That's what happens when we just repeat without question. We have teacher repeaters who just repeat what they are told to tell the children and what they learn themselves in their academic life and in teacher training. We have doctor repeaters that just repeat what the drug companies tell them and what they learned at medical schools. Medical schools can, uh, uh, schools can well, I'll perhaps, perhaps even be right the first time. Medical schools, um, controlled by the drug companies. We have scientist repeaters repeating the bloody nonsense that a tiny, tiny uh, uh, greenhouse gas called carbon dioxide from human form somehow is transforming the bloody climate of the planet. Repeat, repeat, repeat. But classically, journalist repeaters just repeating the official story and calling it journalism, no questions asked. Politician repeaters. I love this one. They've been bent over for so long they think it's standing up. Politician repeaters. I mean, you question uh, politicians about um, climate change. You know, have you ever done any research into it? No, but it's what the scientists say. So we're passing this legislation. Have you ever thought about checking it? No, repeaters, repeaters, repeaters. And then we have people repeaters who take it from these sources and then repeat it among themselves. And then if someone challenges that re repetition version of reality, they get ridiculed and condemned for the crime of being different. And a few people can't control the world. It's a piece of cake, given the way things are. And this is why the authorities want to stop people talking publicly in ways that are at odds with the mainstream belief of repeating. This is why so-called visionaries have always been seen as dangerous by the authority of the day because they're offering another uh, possibility of reality that is at odds with the one reality that tyrannies and dictators always want the public to believe. So all these sources are constantly programming the body computer, the mind, with the version of reality that the system wants and therefore giving us this false identity that keeps us in servitude. As this man said, we see things not as they are but as we are. Because as we are dictates how we decode reality and therefore perceive reality experience. The mind sees everything in terms of division. So when we're in mind, we're in a society of division. When we are in the now consciousness, that sees everything as one because that's what consciousness is. The infinite I. So who do we think we are? We think we're humans. But who are we? We are consciousness. And to perceive reality and live our lives from those two perspectives brings a dramatic difference in the way we see ourselves and life. Okay, move along. Where are we? We're in a virtual reality universe uh, which only exists in our head in the physical sense that we perceive. We are decoding vibrational and electrical information into this apparently physical world that only exists in this form in our heads. One level it's digital and uh, like I say, electrical signals decoded by our brain. So that's where this world actually resides. And it's, it's understandable, I'm standing here now and everything seems to be outside of me. Everything seems to be out there. But that's an optical illusion. Everything is not out there, it's in here in terms of the physical world. It is within us, everything is within us. So this age-old 
uh, line that goes right the way back through the ages, what we call the ages, it, to, to go within is a stunningly um, accurate truth. Because this